If you have an SLA printer just like me and you want to improve your overall print qualities, then don't go away, this video will be for you. What's up everybody and welcome back in another uh, tutorial of uh, Diorama Builders. And today's video, we are not going to create something, but we are going to talk about uh, improving your overall printing qualities if you have an SLA printer. So during the last two months since I had this Mars, I wrote down the most important uh, tips or tricks that I had to consider and I want to share them with you. So I have 15 tips and tricks that will uh, improve your overall printing quality. And I'm going to start by saying that if you have failed prints, it's mostly your own fault so you know please double check all the tips and tricks that I'm going to give you because these will help and upgrade your printing skills. Tip number one the most important uh, tip is wear protection. I have some uh, latex glove, I have a, uh, protection glasses and I'm always wearing uh, my respiration mask because it's it's you know guys it's common sense it's resin we are working with chemicals here so you have to protect yourself so always wear protection it's simple as that tip number one the most important tip of all tip number two resin needs to be shaking before pouring in into your resin uh, tank but when you shake it don't you know do it like that because this is going to create air bubbles which you're going to pour in your uh, resin tank and maybe could ruin your uh, print. So what I tend to do is, you know, roll the bottle between my two hands and this will prevent um, from air bubbles being created. What you also can do is swirl the bottle around a little bit. Tip number three, when you uh, fill up your resin tank, always respect the maximum amount you can put in there. Because if you lower your build plate and there is too much resin in there, it will pull over and um, <laughs> it's going to be a mess and very hard to clean your printer. Tip number four, uh, before you start to print, make sure there is enough resin in the resin tank. If you use Chitty Box, um, you know, after you've done the slicing in the upper right corner, there is always an indication on how much resin you are going to need. So double check it before you start to print. Tip number five is randomize your parts on the build plate. Don't always put the item in the middle. Use the whole surface of your uh, FEP filter also. It wears off after a time and you don't want this to happen in one single spot. Tip number six is print as uh, much parts as possible in one single print. Whether you print one single item or fill up the build plate with the same item, the printing time stays the same. And of course, your LCD and FEP filter will wear off less quickly. Tip number seven, flat prints equals speed. What does that mean? If you put something like that flat on your build plate, it means that you will have less layers to print, which equals faster prints. And also, um, that means that you will wear off less quickly your LCD and FEP filter also. So the flatter you place your parts, the faster it will print. Tip number eight, check if your build plate is level. Uh, to be honest, I have this Eligumars for uh, two months and <laughs> I only had to do it twice. Um, it, it never moved since and always got uh, good results. But again, if you have an important print, check if your build plate is level. Tip number nine is um, don't let your prints rest 
too long after your print is done because this can create blobs and get stuck on your uh, part and these could hide uh, yeah, details that you especially want when you have an SLA printer and also they are going to be much more difficult to remove afterwards when you're doing your post processing so if you do an overnight print make sure your print is done at the time you wake up so you can immediately start by taking care of your uh, prints Tip number 10, if you have an, um, an Elegoo Mars Pro, they are always shipped with this bracket. And what it does is, when your print is done, this will tilt the build plate and get rid of all the excess resin. The only complaint that I have with this is that if you have a very high print, you can't use the bracket because the print will knock against this screw. So I hope Elegoo could take this uh, issue in consideration when uh, creating other printers. Tip number 11 is remove your supports when the print is done and not after curing because it will be more difficult to remove them and possibly you could damage your prints. With that being said, jumping onto tip number 12 is use hot water to remove your supports. I tend to use this method because the supports are getting soft and they are much more easier to remove. Tip number 13 is respect and read the instructions that the manufacturers put on the bottle, you know, on how to set up your bottom or normal layer exposure time. They put it on there for a reason, just to get you started immediately, so you don't have to test and figure out which settings you have to use. So always check the bottle or go to the Facebook page or website to have the best results. Tip number 14 is about temperature. Always check the temperature of the room where the printer is located. If the temperature, for example, is too low, the resin will have a higher viscosity and which will make it less runny, especially when uh, the build plate is leveled between layers so it won't run smoothly under the build plate. So always check your ambient air temperature, which should be around 20, 21 degrees Celsius. So we are at the last tip, tip number 15. As I went through these tips, you heard me speak about, you know, rearing off your LCD or FEP filter. Remember that uh, these are consumables, the LCD and the FEP filter. And at some point you'll need to replace them. It's best practice to have spare parts of these uh, two consumables. So I really hope you learned something today with these 15 tips and tricks which will help you upgrade your printing skills. I'm also going to create another video about you know, how to set up your slicing software also with tips and tricks which could benefit you. If you have any questions, please put them down below. I will be happy to answer them for you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification button so you don't miss out on any new videos. And if you want to support me, you can do that by becoming a patron of my channel. This will help me to create more quality content for you guys. So that was it for today. I hope it was helpful and I will see you all in my next video. T-Rama Builders signing out. Bye everybody.